Hi, this is Andrew, the author of Coastal Audio Changer. I thought I'd give you a quick demo uh, just showing how to set it up. Um, here is a blank uh, Coastal Audio Changer interface and what I'll do, I'll just load up the control panel so you can see uh, what's going on. So when you run it for the first time you'd want to hit Find Devices and uh, we're prompted to um, check that they're in the right order and that we set our current outputs and inputs and that we should create two, at least two audio setups um, to make uh, audio changer of any use. So firstly I'll do the audio outputs. Here you can see that my USB headset is the uh, current output so I can uh, select it here and it goes green and the speakers for some reason is the current comms output so I select it there. For audio inputs it's much the same I just have a current input which is the headset microphone and uh, that's at the top and the other three are there which are in the right order. And I'll just check USB headset, speakers and digital audio is last. So that's that done. Uh, now we need to create uh, two audio setups so we select audio setup and hit new and I'll create one for my USB headset and uh, I can call it what I want uh, but that makes sense it'll be a blue icon and it'll be included in the system tray menu down here I can also give it a hotkey uh, but I won't for now and I'll create another one for speakers so I'll just trim the name and rather than a green icon I'll give it a nice purple icon it'll be included in the menu as well and uh, I don't need a hotkey okay so at the moment audio changer knows that the headset is the current output and it's also the current input. Uh, there's a couple of other things I want to do. Um, I just want to increase our key press delay and the control panel display uh, delay. That will just slow down the um, the loading of the control panel and the speed of which the, the keys will flick through. Um, my notification time is set at zero so there will be no pop-up bubbles appearing whenever it changes. Uh, I'd like Coastal Audio Changer to run on startup and I would like the USB headset well it is already to be the um, the startup setup okay I'll save my profile I'll minimize and at the moment I'm in the headset and Coastal Audio Changer hasn't recorded what setup it is at yet but I can move to speakers and it will change to speakers and then I can change back to headset the last thing I want to show you is um, process monitoring this is where you might have a um, application that uh, you might want to um, to run and you want the audio to change to a particular output or input um, to suit that application. So I'm going to use something a bit daft but calculator and it will be assigned to the speakers um, setup. So I'll save profile, minimize. So we're on USB headset and USB headset uh, there as well and I'll run the calculator <laughs> and I forgot to turn on the process monitoring which is the right button there and select now it will discover that the calculator is running and it will switch to speakers and as soon as I turn off uh, the calculator it will revert back to the previous setup if known. In this case it's the USB headset. And I can turn off the process monitoring like so. That's about it. Um, 
the setup information is stored in a file <laughs> under app data. Where is that? There we go. Under roaming uh, coastal. And it's an XML file that you can uh, take a look at if you so wish. That's about it. Okay, thank you.